Hello and welcome to another episode of Toronto FC's Road to the Copa Libertadores. This is Freestyle. We are heading into the knockout stages of the Copa de Primera. We have San Lorenzo in the quarterfinals and we're looking to advance and hopefully win some silverware in our second season with Toronto FC. Let's go. We are pretty much at the end of season two. At most, there's three games left. We are in the quarterfinals of the Copa de Primera. If I win, the next game's the semifinals. If I win, the next game's the finals, right? So there's three games and season two will be done. This is a chance to win some silverware for this career mode for the first time. Okay, I think we're good to go. We're gonna hop in. I'm, I'm really nervous. This is like the first game of the day and it's a quarterfinal game against San Lorenzo. So here we are. All right, Toronto FC, San Lorenzo, quarterfinals of the Copa de Primera. Let's see if we can advance here. All these quarterfinal games, all these knockout stage games are so nerve wracking to me. Great steal by Reyes. Good defending to start things off. Come on, Roberto. Come on, Roberto. You know what? We're just going for it. Oh my God, I slowed down. I screwed that up. I, I didn't get the turn right and the defender did a really good job uh, stealing the ball off me. Oh my God. Great goal. That's on me. I played bad defense there. I pulled my center back, center half up and they burned me. Great, great goal by San Lorenzo. That's on me. I overcommitted right here. I overcommitted. I should not have come up that far. Oh, great movement. Oh, we're gonna, this is bad. That's offside, right? So there's rules. There's rules to the game. Great goal, but he's clearly offside, wasn't he? Great goal, great goal. I'm, I'm out. Like, I'm not going to be able to score here. I know it. I'm out. I guess Reyes has him on. That is tight. That is real tight. Man, two great goals. Two great goals by San Lorenzo. I cannot believe this, man. They could pick out a teammate. Making the run to the inside. What no, power? I'm not. I'm, hey, bud, I'm not accepting missing the net. Sorry. Not a good first half. Not a good first half. We're down 2 0. Where is that pass going? Because it's not going to where I aimed. Roberto Insigne. Let's go. Power shot goal from our leading talisman. Look at this job by Roberto Insigne. Just opens up and fires it. Oh my God. And it had a little bit of reverse spin there. Let's go. Roberto Insigne putting the team on his back like he always does. I think that's his 28th goal of the season. Huge, huge goal. Huge goal by Roberto Insigne. Nice steal. Oh, come on, game. 90 players that can get that ball, and it lands to you. All right. Let's, uh, let's build an attack. Come on, Alexandro. Oscar, let's go. There it is. Patient build up, patient play, moving that ball around, taking our time, finding the open guy. And the two Brazilians link up. Alexandro, look at that, holds it up, finds Oscar, who buries it. Let's go. You know what? Need the shooter McGavin for that one. Huge goal. Let's go. We're tied up 2 2. The most dangerous part of the game is right now, off of kickoff. I've got to be super, super uh, careful here and not let up any bad passes, any bad shots. Got to play good defense here. How do I not get that ball? There it is. Gutierrez with the steal. Let's go. My ball. Let's go. Great defending by Gutierrez. Comes in and makes a fantastic defensive stop. Go, Oscar. Back to Ruddy. Go ready. Go ready. Go ready. Go ready. Go ready. Across to Lorenzo. Let's go. 
What a comeback! And keeping Lorenzo and City on proves to be massive. What a comeback. We were down 2 0 at half. And we just fought back. What a pass by Ruddy and Lorenzo and City. Jumping on the loose ball. Massive. The Insigne brothers coming in huge. We need some defending here. Great job by Gutierrez. Great save by him to keep it in bounds. What a play by Gutierrez. Two massive defensive plays there. Great win by Jose Reyes there. You know what? Let's just be calm here. Let's, there's two minutes left. Let's not make any stupid mistakes. Massive, massive win for Toronto FC. Down 2 nothing at half. They crawl back under the leadership of Roberto Insigne and Lorenzo Insigne. And they pull out a massive victory. 3-2. What a performance. What a game. You can see Roberto and Lorenzo Insigne both got a goal. Marshall Ruddy off the bench got the run and assist that gave us the game winning goal. Reyes with a 7.5. Kosi Thompson with a 7.5. You know what? I'm going to say this 6.3 for Christian Gutierrez, that's kind of low. He had two crucial steals, one of them that launched the game winning goal counterattack. 6.3 is low for him. Oh my God. Huge win by Toronto FC. This next game down there, River Plate Boca Juniors. I'd love to be able to watch that. That is going to be a fantastic game. I can't even begin to tell you how relieved I am to win that game. Let's advance up. And we're playing Boca Juniors. Great. <laughs> Great. So Defensa is playing LAFC. Boca Juniors is playing Toronto FC. Here, there's a chance to have an all MLS finals. Oh man, Boca Juniors. Are you kidding me? Now here's the thing with Boca Juniors, okay? I generally have a good performance against them. The problem with Boca Juniors though, and I've mentioned this a few times, is that they generally are the best team in Argentina. And I'll show you what I mean. In the league, they only lost one game. Last season, they went uh, undefeated in the league. So in two seasons, they've only lost one game in the league. They're a fantastic team and they won the Libertadores. So they're on for the treble. They, they won the league, they won the Libertadores. They're on for the trouble here. This is gonna be a tough game. Like this, there's no there's no thing about this. This is gonna be a very tough game. I'm basically gonna stop them from going to the trouble. So you know they're up for it. Oh, look at the stadium. Look at the stadium. La Bombonera? La Bombonera? What does that mean, Bombonera? That sounds very familiar to me. We see the, it's a box of chocolates. That's a cool name. Toronto FC, Boca Juniors, semi-finals of the Copa de Primera, and we're off. Oh boy. I need to be calm. I need to keep my head. I need to know that even if we're down, we can come back and right off the bat, terrible pass. I don't like that. Get this out wide. Another bad pass, man. Come on, stop giving the ball to yourself. I tried to do a through pass down the wing and it kicks the ball short to the defender. Like... At least, at least pretend like it's a through pass and kick the ball far. You know what I mean? Great defending here. Great defending here. Benega picks that up. Oh my gosh. Great goal. Great goal. You've got to be kidding me with that save. That was an amazing play. What a save by the goalkeeper. We got to watch that again. What a pass by Ike Ugbo. Lorenzo Insigne gets down on it. Uh, I went right at the goalkeeper. Great steal. To Alexandro, nice pass across to Ike Ubo. You know what? We're just gonna shoot. Oh, come on, keep it low, bud. At least, at least challenge the goalkeeper there. You know, those passes drive me nuts. Great save by Acevedo. Those back heel passes drive me nuts, and here's why. The game, the AI, is 100% accurate with back heel passes. 
I can't pass the ball forward like in a normal pass with the accuracy that they can back heel. I'm trying to make much simpler passes than the game is letting on. Great save by the goalkeeper yet again. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it? That's two huge saves by this Boca Juniors goalkeeper. And for the second game in a row, we go into halftime down. Their goalkeeper has made two fantastic saves. So, you know, credit where credit's due. E.K. Ugbo to Roberto Insigne. I needed somebody else to come in. Oscar. No, 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 no. On target. Great defending by Reyes there. We found some space. Come on, Oscar. Come on, Lorenzo. Keep running, guys. Oh, on target. On target. I'm going to prove to you I was on target. I'm going to prove it to you. Boom. On target. I'm on target here. Okay? There's another instance of it. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's get this to Oscar, please. Wow, game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. An actual call in my favor. Thank you. All right, let's see. If we go over this guy a little higher, I think we're good here. Come on, Lorenzo. Oh, my God, man. I think I should have put a bit more power on it, but that's it. There we go. We got Oscar here. Get it out wide. That's a foul again because that's what this team does. Ike Ubo. Nobody. Oh, yeah, I didn't get that ball. Oh my god. What the hell was that? <sighs> that was a tough game. That was... I mean, Boca Juniors played great. They played some great defense. They didn't let me in very often. But... Let's be, let's be completely honest. I had more than enough opportunity to score, and the shooting the shooting stats will show it. We took eight shots, only three were on target, and the saves by the goalkeeper were fantastic. So I don't want to take anything away from the goalkeeper saves, but those three shots that missed the target, all of them were inside the six yard box. That was a bad loss. That one hurts. We are out of the Copa de Primera. That's two seasons without a trophy. I am completely bummed. That's the worst. That's the absolute, I mean, it's, ju it's just the worst. It, I mean, it doesn't get worse than that. It's terrible. Uh, well, on the bright side, that means we get to start season three. The fun thing about season three is that uh, we're getting a new striker. First things first, we will, kind of do an end of season look at stuff and then we'll we'll get forward we'll have a look at our final stats we had some great performances all season long if we start with the man roberto insigne in 47 games this guy put in 28 goals and 17 assists 45 goal contributions in 47 games for roberto insigne just fantastic player lorenzo insigne getting older he's you can see his overalls dropping 18 goals 22 assists in 54 games so that would be what 40 goal contributions the two Insigne brothers combined were something like 89 goal contributions ridiculous ek ugbo didn't do well in the season you can see in the copa de primera he had 12 goals in 14 games but in the knockout stages he disappeared isaac thompson he had a decent season you know our youth academy guy 14 goals, four assists, but the Copa de Premier, again, he didn't perform. Oscar was fantastic. Ever since we brought him in, he was a good player. He's going, you know, he's 33 again. He's minus one. His, his overall is going to go down, but he's a solid player. Eight goals, two assists since he came in. Ishmael Kony's okay. 
He's not as good as I like him to be, but he's going to be a good bench player, I think, is what's going to end up happening to him. Ian Sullivan probably should start getting more games. He had an okay season. He didn't play enough. I, I should have played him more, I think. I just like Isaac Thompson. I have, a, I have a soft spot for this guy, which is why I keep playing him over Ian Sullivan. But I think he Ian Sullivan's probably the better player. Either way, maybe we sell one of these guys and bring in some funds. We'll see. Marshall Ruddy, another dude that I probably, it's more on me. I probably should play him more. I think I need to start him over Ishmael Kone. He's just the speed, what he can do. He usually performs well for me, so he just doesn't get enough game time. Andre Reyes, great defender, added a goal this season. Enzo Rolden, you know, when we lost Juan Ignacio Nardoni, we had to bring in Enzo Rolden. He had a fantastic season since coming in, a goal and five assists in 13 games. Connor Ronan didn't play as much, so his stats aren't as good as they were the previous in the previous season. The last half of the year when we brought him in, he was starting at Cam every game and he performed very well. Kosey Thompson, right back, he's up to a 70. Five assists from the right back position. Good defender, plays very well. Super happy with him. Acevedo ended the season with 16 clean sheets. If we look at Aiden Palmer, I think he got a couple of games. Six games in net, he got two clean sheets. So we have a good backup goalkeeper, which, you know, maybe maybe we start start him a bit more and see if he can take over from Acevedo. But Acevedo is up to a 79. So you can see his average, he hasn't really done very well. 6.8, 6.5, probably want more out of my goalkeeper, but I just want to see if the Copa de Pereira, so it could have been an all MLS matchup last season. It was an MLS team that won the Copa de Primera. Let's see if Boca Jr. would win this one. Let's sim forward. Boca Juniors complete the trouble. They won the league. They won the cup competition. They won the Copa Libertadores. Man, oh man. So, end of season results. Not the best, but we did finish third in the league. We got to the quarterfinals of the Sudamericana and we got to the semifinals of the Copa de Primera, which I believe is the second season in a row we got knocked out in the semifinals. A trophy of some kind is just like, just out of our reach, just out of our reach. But I think this season coming up, we're winning something. Season three, we're winning something. Yeah, yeah, you're delighted. Of course you're delighted. I'm delightful. So of course you're gonna be delighted with me. <laughs> that was a disappointing end to a fantastic, not only second season, but a fantastic run in the Copa de Primera. Boca Juniors were just too difficult to break down. They played great defense. Goalkeeper did a fantastic job keeping them in the game. And unfortunately, Toronto FC just weren't good enough to win. So our second season ends with no silverware. Bet that's okay. We're going to jump into our third season. We have players coming in. We have a squad building up. I am very excited for season three. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. I look forward to catching you on that next episode. So please remember to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. And you can always follow us over at twitch.tv slash freestyle to catch these games live. Until next time, this is Freestyle signing off. Peace. Hey!